all right what's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel guys so today we're gonna be making a part two on how to make a roblox profile picture i know i've done a part one if you haven't watched the part one go ahead and uh, watch the part one if you wanted to do the part two go ahead and click on this video and we're gonna be doing a part two the part one wasn't actually that good so uh, yeah we're gonna be doing a part two and yeah so because I've never done a part 2 and I've never done a tutorial on this channel for a very long time and it's finally, I'm finally continuing on doing this. So let's go ahead and get started to this video. So all the, all the links, all the stuff are going to be linked in the description as of course, as usual, because of course. And also first, so in order to do this, first open Roblox Studio and you got to go do and you got to click place play. That's what you need to do, okay? Base plate is one. Just don't do it in your game. If you want to do it in your game, then I'm fine, okay? But, like, just doing the base plate so it's more easier. Because that's the plain, regular game. Delete the spawn. Just select that and delete. Press the delete on the keyboard or that. And then, you're going to go plugins. And, of course, you guys have or has already seen these plugins right here. As in my part 1 series type of video or the tutorial. I mean... I'm gonna be doing a part two because part one wasn't that really good because of, of my improvings, improvements, and now improvements, my improvements has gone more much better. So click of course character inserter and you gotta click your character and you gotta click R15. Make sure it's your character, not like your friend's character or all that stuff. If it's like your friend's character, just use use your own character. If you wanna do it, you will wanna make like it for your friend that you can use their ID. Okay, in order to do that, you gotta go to the website and go to their profile and you gotta copy their ID like up right over here as you can tell. And after that, you go back to here, then you paste in the ID right here. So let's go ahead and click that and click spawn the character, last character. And then you can see our character right here as my Roblox character and so now. And now we're gonna click moon animator and then we're gonna click fly new animation and type in the name of the of the character you are doing it and then click the plus button and click the uh, character and click okay and then you can start rotating and i'm gonna speed up this video because this might take a little bit of a while so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this part and yeah then we can move on to the next part so yeah all right so we're done with the uh, rotation so once you're done with the rotation you got everything like all ready all you got to do is select your character okay and then right click okay right click and you're gonna go ahead and click export selection okay so then you're gonna find where the folder you're gonna save and yeah i got to blend so i gotta keep this as blank because i don't want to show all my files of course all right once you're done click save and then you can continue with the next part the next part now all you got to do now is rendering so open blender link in the description for the uh, website to download the blender so you got to download blender if you haven't got the, if you haven't got blender just download the link in the description click the link in the description to download blender all the files yeah yeah and also i'll link this uh file in the description this is the one i'll i'll uh, send this rig in the description click so i'm gonna go and click on it and once you open this rig it'll look something like this and once so now i'm gonna go ahead and do some adjusting so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video and i'm and yeah then i'll continue so yeah Alright, so I'm done. I got everything like ready. So now once you're done like this, this is what it looks like, okay? So now you can like rotate all the position. So like this type, you can see like it's already set, like the lightings is already fully set in. So you don't need to like worry about all of these stuff. So all you gotta do is like open the camera. If you haven't done it, okay, don't have the camera. Just go ahead and shift A on your keyboard, press shift A on your keyboard and click camera, okay? This one right here. And then you're gonna click this camera icon or automatically pop up. So 
If you already have it, just in case, but that's a problem. But yeah, it'll automatically add the camera feature. So yeah, so now you're gonna go ahead and set the position of like what your character wanted. So like an example. So I might want it like this. So let's go ahead and show you how it looks. So it might look something like this. So I might want to position like this. So so this is what the position I want. So now once you're done with that, so now once you're happy with everything, once you're happy with everything you got. Click render and render image and it should and you gotta wait until this is fully rendered and done like you'll see this bar right here you'll see like it completes to done once it's done it will be fully done so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video and then we're gonna go ahead and wait and yeah all right once it's fully rendered and done it looks something like this maybe so it'll look something like this okay so now you're gonna go and click image and click save as and you're gonna save it as your folder where you want so i'm gonna name this as redders gfx gfx or gfx bit so i'm just gonna name this as like an example that i'm doing as a tutorial g redders gfx video 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 of course and now it looks something like this it's say like if you have like a copy you just change the name and you're gonna click like that and click save as image okay once it's done now go ahead go ahead and go to the another link in the description photo p of course you guys might know this with website okay i've done the first tutorial on this website go ahead and open this website photo p it's a, always it's a free website you can edit you click new project you're gonna set the width to 800 of course height to 800 and the background should be white and then click create and now all we got to do now is select the background and now we're gonna add gradient overlay okay add gradient overlay click gradient if you want to add this it'll look cool for your background so let's go ahead and put some awesome blue color because blue is the color and something like this so it will look that dark but let's just uh, put a little bit lighter and a little lighter so yeah and we're gonna do the same thing with the others and a little well this looks so this will look something like this okay and there we go so now we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer click the this paintbrush tool and you're gonna say so make the size something like 45 pixel uh 82 pixel not about 82 pixel then we're gonna set the color to color picture picker to white and then we're gonna go ahead and do like this okay just just let's see i'll show you guys what i'm gonna do okay we're gonna do like something like this and then just like that and then we're gonna go here we're gonna go filter and we're gonna click liquid i think so then we're gonna go ahead and change the position it's like something like this so just do like this it'll make more cool if you're gonna have this and just do like this right over here and yeah right over here and well, now it's done we'll click okay it looks something like this okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and use this barrel background as of course i use this my old tutorial we're gonna open this barrel background use this barrel background right click in the uh, image right click and copy copy image and then paste it then and control v to paste it so now we're gonna go and double click go to article so article then we're gonna set this to white okay this might look something like this but change the blend mode to normal and set it to something like this and put it like that so now it will look something like this so we're gonna go ahead now and drag in a roblox character with that you rendered earlier okay and it's gonna go ahead and uh, not show my screen so yeah of course I don't want to show my screen so let me go ahead and find it real quick all right right over here so you found it right over here and then we're gonna drag it to here right over here i'm gonna go ahead and right click it add some awesome all the way right there and then we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer and go to this paintbrush and make a new layer of course and set the size to like something like kind of like 300 something. It's fine. Then we gotta go ahead and do this. 
Just make it like look more lightning and click normal and put it to overlay. Then reduce the brightness of it. Then you will see some difference a little bit. So, and then, so yeah. And then we're officially done. And that's the profile picture, guys. So we're officially done with the profile picture. So the last step is click file. And then we're gonna click export this PNG. And we name this as the uh, British English. British PFP. Uh, it's just like that. If you wanna name it like PFP, you can do it. But yeah, then click save. Just don't mind. It's okay. If it comes like if it comes like something like an out pocket air, just click OK. It's nothing will happen. And then if you're officially happy what you have. And there it is, right over here. So once you're, so I hope you guys enjoy. This was the second tutorial. And this was actually a really much better improve of the GFX. So, and then, yeah, guys, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel if this helps you guys a lot. Because we're so close to 1,000 subscribers because we, we, we can help, help you get 1,000 subscribers. And, yeah, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out and bye.